Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to your love and romance. How are you doing Aries? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys are as ecstatic as I am for the holidays. I don't know about you guys, but we do it big <laughs> when it comes to holidays. Huge family, so want to wish every single one of you guys the best of the best. Okay, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides and ancestors, what are the messages that we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2021? What can they expect regarding their love life and romance? Okay, one more shuffle. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Ace of Swords. Being truthful, being honest, this has been uh, brutally honest, uh, expressing yourself and uh, what it is that you're wanting or what you're expecting regarding your love life, regarding relationships and partnerships. The card that represents your partner or person of interest is the world card. So there's an ending cycle that they're currently going through. Uh, this can also represent a higher elevation of connection here. Now your next card here is your card, Aries. This is the full card with the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card. Wow, so there is a solidification here of a relationship. For some of you guys, it uh, could be that you've been holding back, excuse me, that you've been holding back or um, perhaps not fully being transparent um, in regards to your emotions. So for some of you guys, you may have held back in regards to the feelings that you have for the person that you're dealing with or a person that you have feelings for. So it's almost like you've kind of have been waiting for the perfect timing or the perfect opportunity. Um, and it's quickly coming to the point of having the need to express yourself fully and to be completely honest. With the full card here, this, this is an indication of a new beginning, a new cycle. Um, but the full card carries a lot, a lot of major potential when we're talking about relationships. Ten of Pentacles is the solidification of a relationship, feeling emotional stability, and the Sun card. I feel that for some of you guys, because we do have the Ace of Swords, again, I feel like you've been holding back in regards to a connection. This could be dealing with someone. Um, this could be a someone that is around you that uh, maybe you haven't been honest about your feelings for, and it could potentially be because they could have been dealing with another situation or they themselves could have been in a relationship. The world card does indicate the ending cycle of something. So I feel like for some of you guys, if you were dealing with someone that was emotionally invested in someone else, I feel that this is you getting basically the green light to move forward because they're coming to that conclusion or they're coming to an ending cycle of that previous connection. Now, the next card here is the Four of Cups. The Queen of Cups and <clears throat> the King, sorry, this uh, Knight of Swords. So, yeah, there is a situation that your person of interest could have been dealing with someone else or they were holding on to someone from the past. Four of Cups is feeling neglected. It's feeling, um, feeling like they were not a priority in that person's life. Uh, Queen of Cups could represent that at some point in this connection they could have been extremely guarded or could have been very vocal about not looking for anything serious but with the knight of swords it's like they're quickly taking action towards no longer wanting to deal with feeling taken for granted or feeling uh like they were pretty much nurturing a relationship that was not really um giving anything in reciprocation so i definitely do see them taking action in regards to uh, making or creating an ending cycle. This could be a some type of temporary separation. This could be giving some time to themselves, um, pulling away from that connection. Now, if you are in a relationship, I feel that at some point uh, your partner was feeling a bit neglected or feeling like they were being taken for granted. With the Queen of Cups, I do see them finally opening up or being more emotionally available, more present. Knight of Swords, um, definitely indicating uh, being straightforward in regards to where they're at at this point and what they want or what they expect from a relationship. So all in all, what I'm, what I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single, uh, you could have been dealing with a situation where 
again, you were interested in someone but not completely professing your love to them or interest. And it could be because you felt like they weren't interested or they were dealing with someone else, um, someone that perhaps uh, was not really reciprocating their interest or their effort in this relationship. There's definitely an ending cycle and them uh, being aggressive towards uh, being ready or pushing themselves to be ready to open up or to see the options that they have. So again, if you were dealing with this situation, they're giving you the green light um, to take action to be bold in your pursuit of this person or be bold in your pursuit to your happiness um being honest and taking this opportunity i feel like for some of you guys they're telling me there is a window that is opening up for you um and it could be temporarily so again if you were dealing with someone that recently there is a breakup or separation now is your time to make a move to be able to stand out and to be able to be well received um but there is a need for quick action here so again um the opportunity and the timing is right now aries i want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon till then bye